Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento with the mid-afternoon update. In the stock index futures, we have a three to four ratio. The ratio means we got the Russell down a little bit, which has been the weakest. The strongest, of course, NASDAQ, second S&P, and third, the Dow are all up. Treasury notes and Treasury bounds are still moving lower. Uh, the Fed has indicated that they're probably going to raise one or two more times. Uh, it really doesn't make any difference because notes and bonds have been in a bear market for two and a half years, and they're going to continue to see that as rates will be going higher, not dramatically higher, but they will certainly get above 5% sometime in the next uh, 6 to 12 months uh, would be my forecast. Also, if you're taking a look at the crude oil complex, it's uh, trying to make a $72 a barrel. We were $66 a barrel just a few days ago, and now we've jumped up uh, $3 a barrel, and it looks like it's ready to get above its previous week's high, above $72 a barrel for the first time in quite a long time. Folks, stop and think when we were, uh, when, excuse me, when the Ukrainian war started with Russia, oil got as high as 120 and everybody, especially Goldman Sachs, said 150 is in the cards. Well, 150 uh, led the way all the way down to $64 a barrel. And now we're back up to 72. Perfect example of the news following the trend. I mean, my goodness, uh, it's amazing how it happens over and over again in these markets. I just see it day after day how the emotionalism gets involved and people lose all perspective of what's really happening in the markets because if prices are going down there's more sellers if prices are going up there's more buyers that's what you really want to look at you can tell the news remember when the saudis were going to drop their rates by uh, a million barrels a day and uh, crude oil jumped three dollars a barrel and two days later it's five dollars lower than when it started so remember folks uh, just because the news is out there doesn't mean that's what's going to happen. It, it's day after day, week after week, we see this. So let's pay close attention. Uh, remember, we have a holiday to, on Friday. Excuse me, on Monday, folks. The day before a holiday, the market is supposed to close higher in the Dow Jones, about 70% of the time. So we'll see what's happening on Sunday night. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And I hope you can join me for the next hour with our guest. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. If you're looking for potential trading sessions,